Hello and welcome to a new mini-series here on the channel for Paradise Lost. I believe this game is roughly three and a half to four hours and it was released back in March, I want to say, of 2021, so not that long ago. It's a post-apocalyptic-ish alternate reality if the Nazis had won the war. Um, I think that's the vibe they're going for. Um, I know we're going to be going down into a bunker and all of our time is going to be spent down there. What we're going to find and how this game is going to play out, I'm not quite sure. But it's going to be interesting to see, so let's go ahead and start a new game and find out. Wow, very wintry, huh? I'm not quite sure where this bunker is located. I didn't... If I had read anything about the location, I'd completely have forgotten what it was. I'm not quite sure how many years after the war this is set in. I want to say roughly 20, 25 years. We will be playing as a little kid, just to let you know. Dang. Poor Teddy left out in the cold. The music's beautiful, though. Denial. Okay. So there are stages. Wow, that was a wind, wasn't it? Jeez. Oh, so we're just already here. Okay, so we've made our way to the bunker already, it seems. And it's very dark. Oh, wow. It's like very, very dark. Do we have an inventory or anything? Whoa. No, we... Doesn't seem like we do. Okay. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> now, this is much simple. Ooh. I'm scared of the dark, too. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> and now, Mom is going to make it all warm and cozy, and you tidy up your toy subject. It'll be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? Maybe when you're big and strong, the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. Oh, dang, that was his teddy bear. That was... how brave you are? Well, even if I did, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. 
No matter how dark the night, the new day sun will rise. Amen, Tayote. This little teddy bear there. So that's what teddy bear was left by the side of the the water. He must have been trying to take it with him when he went to the bunker. Okay. So I guess some of the story is told in flashbacks then, which is fine. I'm totally down for that. I can't wait to see what this bunker actually looks like though. But dang, is it dark. I don't know if I said this is a, not a horror game at all. But very atmospheric. Oh, we can interact. May 19th, 1960. I'm afraid morale is continuing to decline. Some of the men are getting restless. I suspect some of them have realized that their uber lieutenant known, knows as little as they do. I understand that our mission is top secret. We, we are possibly the best equipped unit in the entire German army, and our purpose still remains a mystery to us. We are sat on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, Geiger counters, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We even have a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions. When will we take the fight to the enemy? Were they cut off from the outside then? Okay, yeah, don't don't panic, kid. It's just a little bit of dark. I think we'll be okay. We have our magic lighter, right? As long as it doesn't run out of fuel, we're gonna be good. Doesn't look the, like there's anything else here, so let's go into the next room. Good thing nothing's gonna be jumping out at me, because I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Surveillance report. I was dispatched to level zero at 9.42 to patrol hatch 61B, the northernmost entrance to the shelter. Upon arrival at the shelter door, I observed, as usual, that nothing had changed. The door was sealed, and I again encountered zero trespassers. That concludes my daily report, which, of course, no one ever bothers to read. Okay. Well... So I guess they just came up here and checked the door, made sure nobody opened it up, and then they were good. I wonder what they would... I got... well, no, I guess they didn't send anybody out to look for any survivors. Why would they, huh? Although, they were trapped down here, too. There's only so long you can survive in a bunker. Oh, well... I guess it depends on how well managed the bunker can be. I don't know. My experience with bunkers has not been, or vaults, <laughs> has not been uh, always pleasant, let's say. They can uh, do some pretty uh, evil experiments in them. Gotta shimmy our way through here. A lot of. Whoa. What was that? What happened? Is everything That's his mom and some guy. Um It fell? Is the roger, mom? It fell. Is it broken? We can't take the generator without it. Don't worry. We should have a spare one somewhere. Mom? Who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? It's no one. Hmm. So she didn't want us to know who that was? Interesting. That is a lot of... Luggage? Munition crates? And I wonder when it fell, because there's no way anybody's checked that opening in a while. 
They wouldn't have been able to squeeze past her. We barely made it. I wonder how much longer we have to use this. Looks like, um, oh, that must be our bunker down there. So we probably need to turn on some electricity so we can use the elevator. Well, if the electricity is not on, then where are the people? Okay, that looks a lot bigger than I was expecting it to. Let's go back this way. Anything in here? Ah, can we do anything with these? No. Ah, here we go. Um. Ah. Ah, I got it. There we go. Uh oh. Ah, uh, we don't need to announce our presence, I didn't think. Let's, uh, just hit that. Yeah. There we go. Much better. But, dang, they've got trains down there also? Are you kidding? This place must be ginormous. Let's go take the elevator down and find out. Oh, we can observe. Oh, yeah. This is going to be insane. How in the heck did they get trains down here? And where did they go to? Go. Wow. Okay. Here's our elevator. Let's go ahead and take it down and uh, see what awaits us. And it was like that. There we go. Go that way. Might need to adjust the sensitivity just a tad bit. Oh, so we're on double zero. We need to go to four. Okay. So we've got a ways to go, but we're definitely in the right place. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Glad this isn't just a short detour on a, a longer search, right? I'd rather not go back out in the freezing cold. Thank you very much. Although it does look quite cold in here also, so. Ooh, looks like in point of no return. Huh. Yeah, there's no leaving now that we're down here, it looks like. It seems I can go over here. <laughs> I think we're roughly 12 years old, I want to say. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays into the story. Nothing here. No notes or anything. Can't interact there. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's all in German. And it's been a long time since I was in German class. Alright, no, thank you. I cannot cannot read that, but looks like a little bit of propaganda. Definitely a newspaper article of some sort. Let's go this way. <laughs> we have a suitcase over here. A lot of luggage here. Dear Grandma, we won't, you won't believe who's on the train with me. 
Greta Mueller. You were just playing her record to me. She's so elegant. I wish I could talk to her, but she has her own car and no one's allowed inside. There's also a cartoonist from that newspaper you always read. He even drew a picture of the Fuhrer for me, but I think he made Goring look a little slimmer than he really is. It's an honor to be on the same train as so many talented people. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. They came when you were away and were so impatient and rude. Nothing like I imagined they'd be, but at least they promised to deliver this goodbye letter. I hope this finds you well. I love you, Adela. Well, it does not look like Grandma found that letter or received that letter, does it? A lot of luggage just laying out here. Where are the people that belong to said luggage, though? Or were they just not allowed to take it into the bunker? Hmm. Let's go this way first. See if there's anything on here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah, here we go. To all colonists, you are advised that only one suitcase per person will be allowed in Gesellschaft. Gesellschaft? All additional belongings will be disposed of upon arrival. Well, that explains all the suitcases. This rule will be enforced by the SS Race and Settlement Main Office. There will be no exceptions. So they were limited on what they were allowed to take in. Okay. Fair enough. Explains quite a bit. Just a teacup. Yep, I guess sometimes it really is just a teacup. There we go. Alright, let's go back here. Nope, looks like we have reached the end of the line. So let's head up to the other car and see if that's our way forward. Alright, here we go. Looks like we have another suitcase we can open up. Oh. I'm leaving, do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me. I don't want to spend my whole life here. Mama? Mama, are you okay? Mama Shu? Did something happen to his mother? Is that why he left the bunker? Or did he run away from home? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. I am writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand it is no longer my place to intervene, but since all my worldly assets are now legally yours, but I hope you will grant me this final favor in any case. I am sure that the first thing you are planning to do is cut down that beech tree stood in the yard. However, a family of blackbirds has built a nest there. Please make sure to relocate the nest before cutting down the tree. P.S. Next time I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat resembles me. We look nothing alike not to mention your passport photograph. Alas, you were the only person I know of in all of Bavaria who was granted this ticket. So, somebody made it on that wasn't supposed to be here, I guess. Interesting. What do we have here? Some kind of a solvent or a spirit of some sort. Okay. But apparently not important to us. Ah, here I can get down now. Let's go down and move forward. And or back, as the case may be. So, okay, yeah, we can go forward. Let's go this way. Was there anything the other way? Yeah, no. It's just blocked off. Okay, fair enough. 
Well, I wonder if we're going to come across any of the... I don't want to say people, but... I don't... Um, maybe rooms of the people that we're finding notes about right now, or notes from. So it looks like I can open a gate, maybe? <laughs> no. And I can't do anything with that one. So it doesn't seem we are strong enough for that. Anything in here that can help me out? Right, here we go, another note. Dear Leopold, many times I prayed, please God, make me ignorant. Make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I am just the simple machinist doing what is asked of him. But in my heart, I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all these years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is that now the day has finally come and you are the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today, I lose a friend. But I can't help but wonder if it had to be this way. Maybe if I'd found the courage to question my orders, I'd have known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I am truly sorry that it had to end like this. Okay. Let's see if this lever works. There we go. The other one was just stuck. It wasn't that we were too weak. Wow. A lot of ice formation, though. Just how long has this section been unused? Let's go back out and go down. Yay. Oh, Leopold is the train. Maybe these are the trains that brought the people to the bunker, and that's why this area is no longer um, used. Okay. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. guess we just need to go to the end then. I mean, everything still seems to be in relatively good working order. So maybe there is some hope we'll find somebody. <gasps> what did that do for me? Oh, I'm moving. The whole platform's moving. Okay, so help me if a tunneler pops out, we're gonna have words. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of this place. This is a whole underground city. Oh, I was not expecting this. Dang. Okay. my way out? No. Ah, over here. Okay. Holy crud. What in the world? I was not expecting anything like this. Let's see if we can worm our way through all of this. Oh, here we go. I like that he just automatically goes through these areas. Hmm. 
Nice touch. I like that. I'm not going to say what those look like, but yep. So, looks like we need to go into one of them now. So let's go up here. I like the crunching of snow underneath my feet. I always appreciate things like that in games. Okay, so it got very dark again. But it does not look like there's anything over on this end. Let's see if we can open up a door to the other side. Maybe. Oh, it's a recording. Sounds like a prayer. It is a prayer. So there, there were people in here. Is there anything over here I can look at? Oh yeah. Oh, must have been a popular teddy bear. Okay. There. Oh yeah, here we go. Wait, doesn't he need WD-40? So this must have been, uh, we had like our own little mini bunker. Okay, well that explains things. Oh, is this his mom? Don't worry, mom will be okay. Uh, can't do this without you, you know what, no. Don't worry, mom, I'll be okay. So. You, Mom. Wow. So he's 12 years old and alone in the world. In this world. That's crazy. I can't say that I blame him wanting to go and try and find people or a place. he can belong maybe or where he can be safe and taken care of it looks like we've reached a one well, that's good yeah we're getting closer I wonder if I can go on any of these I would not mind oh look at that there's oh there's like a gramophone in there I wonder if that was the singer's car. Can I go on? I'd like to look. Oh, I can. Oh, this had to be, definitely had to be Greta Mueller. Yeah, that's her there. Oh, very cool. So this was her car, huh? What do we have here? Nothing. Oh, yeah. This had to be her ream. Her children, maybe? Or maybe her when she was little with her brother? Possibly. Nothing in the safe. There's the violin. Can't look at anything there. Let's um, look in her drawer. Oh, oh. She did the. She did the bad things. Okay. 
Okay, well, I guess the more you know about your favorite uh, musicians, huh? Anyways, let's get off this train and continue on. Interesting, though. Alright, so, can I go... It looks like I can go that way. But I want to check out over here first. I'd like to try not to miss too much of the story. Looks like this is check-in, definitely. A lot of baggage and stuff over here. Ooh, can I go back here, too? Let's find out what's back here. Hopefully I can get back through. Oh, it's very tight. He's moving really slow. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it'll let me back through. That's good. Yeah, I gotta fix that sensitivity with the... The can, can the, with the contramera with the camera. <laughs> it's a bit on the slow side. I think I could stand for it to move a little bit faster. Hmm. I wonder what the point of this area is. Why can I come back here? Oh, can I sneak in this way? Oh, wait, okay. I'm curious. Oh, this looks like a point in every turn, though. Okay. So there were two entrances to the place, then. Or two ways you could get in. This is where they threw the luggage down, right? What's that? Oh, shoe polish. <laughs> like, wait a minute, what is that? I haven't seen that stuff in forever. I haven't had shoes I need to polish in a very long time. Oh yeah, definitely bad. Wow. Oh, they just kept people's belongings for themselves, huh? Yeah, typical. Alright, well, let's get through here. See if we can somehow connect with the front of where we should have been. It's kind of weird, though. Oh, my. I definitely don't think this is the place for a kid to be. Oh, wow. Tight squeeze. Very tight squeeze. Good thing I am not claustrophobic. I would be having problems right now. There we go. Where in the holy bobs am I? <sighs> Seems like this was probably not the way I wanted to choose to go. It's fine, though. It's interesting to get this perspective, right? Ah, here we go. Ah. Here we are. I just wonder where in the heck we're at. It's almost like, um, a maintenance area, I want to say, where they could come down here and check on things, make sure everything was running right. Yeah, nothing there. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone in the front door. But, I don't know. I kind of think I'm happy with this choice. Depending on where it brings me out at. Ah, here we go. A little bit more civilized of an area. Oh, did it bring me around to the front? Maybe. Uh, it must have been a picture of one of the people that came in here. Uh, each bunker should contain Aryans who are unwavering in their national socialist convictions. Between 5 and 50 years old. Distinguished specialists in their fields or display potential to become such healthy. 
care must be taken to ensure the presence of farmers, skilled laborers, craftsmen, bakers, carpenters, toolsmiths, doctors, pharmacists, teachers, engineers, scientists. A detailed list of specialties and quotas will be provided in a separate document. Furthermore, each bunker should contain at least 10 healthy non-Aryan women between the ages of 18 and 25 and frozen sperm samples taken from 1,000 non-Aryan men. Okay. So they were going to experiment down here? Or... Do genetics, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll find more the further we go down. Oh, they must have checked them. I guess they tested them for their... Those are bullets. Why are there bullets here? This is check-in. Uh, okay. Looks like a shower room. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So they must have gotten dressed in their bunker uniform in here, maybe? Looks like I can go in there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look here first. No, it's locked. Okay, fair enough. Let's head this way. Nothing on that desk. I can't go that way. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Maybe a key? Oh no, I'm climbing up. Never mind. Okay, we're going into the docks. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we can find a way out of here. I don't like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! And we just earned a trophy called Untermensch. Um, wow. Okay, well, I made it inside the front gate. Dang. Okay, that was a long way to go a short distance. Because <laughs> there was the front gate I could have just walked right in. But it got me past a, another gate. So, okay interesting what do we have here I wonder how many stories I missed out there but it's all right Bill Coleman welcome all arrivals welcome to Geschelschaft you are now located in the greetings chamber due to the higher air pressure you may experience some discomfort do not be alarmed your body will soon adjust to the new conditions staying in Geschelschaft is a guarantee of safety innovation and freedom from any blood crimes all of you have been carefully chosen by the office of racial policy to continue the thousand year right here where the degradation of the outside world cannot reach you here where the physically and mentally inferior cannot perpetuate their suffering in the body of their children and even though you are far below the surface it is historical record that solitude provides the conditions for the greatest of societies. Okay. Well, we know what they wanted to achieve here. Good to know. Uh, wow. That was a trip, wasn't it? Oh, dang. I fell a really long way. It's a wonder I didn't break my knees. To Russia officials, I am not pleased. I was taken from the 
front line in the midst of an assault on the enemy and then hidden underground like a coward just because there may be a need for someone in my position to protect high-ranking dignitaries that may or may not arrive at this shelter. I had been preparing that attack for weeks and was denied the opportunity to ensure its success. I was told soon there will be no there will no longer be such a thing as the front line and you should consider this an honor the audacity I am requesting reassignment to my previous post without delay Heil D Hugo Dietrich Hugo Dietrich there we go interesting so some people are here because they didn't want to be here I guess maybe just soldiers to help keep things in line maybe distinguished officers if you're playing along with everything else they're trying to sell okay well the elevator works isn't that lovely do I want to go down the elevator though I mean do we trust that elevator it's been here how long Ah, fashion magazine. Well, I don't think we need that. Not where we're going. I think, uh, it ought to be vault fashion now, not the hot latest trends. Alright, I suppose our only way left to go is through the elevator. Oh, there's cameras here. Well, I can't do anything about them, so let's just uh, head on here. Can I press a button? Maybe I'm too close. Not, ah, it wasn't close enough. There we go. Guess we're going to four. Huh? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. What's with the tree, though? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this isn't working. What did I say? We should not have got on the elevator. It was a bad idea. Horrible idea. Ah. Anger. Wow. At least we survived. Huh. Alright guys, well, since we have moved on to, or moved on from denial into anger, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and end the episode here, and in the next one we will continue deeper into the bunker and see if we can unlock a little bit more of the mysteries here and why it's um, in the condition it is and where are the people but for now thank you all so very much for joining me today i've been ball girl i hope you guys have enjoyed and i hope i see you in the next one